Hi, my name is Sarah West and I'm the owner and operator of South Coast Organizers. Hey, I'm Jordan. I'm a photographer. I have a very small apartment with a lot of stuff. And I'm here today to help Jordan with this closet. Ta-da! Because this is too much stuff for too little space. It's so too much stuff. We're gonna make it work though. Oh my gosh, it's your costume! Oh, I have a whole bucket of costumes, but this is specifically the clown because I wear it more often. It's this somewhere one needs to be like where you can really good access. <laughs> Easy access. Girl, you got a nice fancy Louis Vuitton box too. Oh God. What about this little sweater? I wore it once and I didn't really like it. We can we no. can donate that. We can donate that. Okay. Yay! First donation. So as you can see, I'm doing dresses. I'm doing like spaghetti strap, short sleeve, long sleeve, and then I'm oh. doing tops, sleeveless. Then I'll do short sleeve. You know. Yeah. So you go from like smallest to biggest. Okay. And light to dark. So like white, all your colors, dark. I like that it's going to shoot sometimes because it's just plain, plain t-shirt. Can I put it right side up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's inside. And put it going the same way as all your other clothes. <laughs> you really get to know I, people when you do this. No, stuff. yeah. I, it's, it's a very intimate thing. So when people invite me into their homes, I have to like... My thing is like, I get so comfortable with people really quickly. For me, sometimes I have to hold myself back because I don't want to offend new people. Okay. When, I get, when I get the feel for them, if I realize that like I can be super real with them, that's when well, that's when it becomes really fun for me because then I can like not be mean but like snarky. Are you kidding me? Like, are we really gonna keep like eight of the same shirt like we're about to do? Which is fine. <laughs> I love this if one. You, I know if you wear them, I don't mind. I do wear them, um, but they're but all different like materials too. They so are. It's like a sweater one, and that's like a. But once you kind of can see what you have, then you'll be able to wear it more, and then you'll know like, oh, I don't need to buy another black and white striped long sleeve tee. <laughs> Um, that's like my Chris Jenner jacket. Yeah. It was really cheap. I need to keep that. I mean, this is like, necessary. That's another vintage thing I bought, and it fits yeah. me kind of weird, but it's cute. The seam goes across your boob. Like, where, where does the boob go? Is this thing recording? Is that from high school? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. It is. Is this going with your nicer shirts? <laughs> <laughs> is the piece of the Buddha shirt going with the nicer I mean... Shirt? Oh my gosh, I bought this off a Taco Bell. Oh and I bought it from her. <laughs> you, have another, you have another Taco Bell shirt. How many Rita's Locos tacos? You don't even know. I have the giant taco head piece from Taco Bell. From Taco Bell? Yeah. It's like a giant foam taco head. You have several Waffle <laughs> House shirts. <laughs> several Taco Bell shirts. Oh God! King baby. Okay, so we're gonna do some file folding for jeans. You want to fold them in half, pockets out, lay them flat. This little crotch part you kind of fold in because what you're trying to do is make a little rectangle. And then you go from the bottom in half. Basically, fold them as many times to make it the height of the drawer. And then we'll put them in the drawer, standing up like this. Oh. things that we did to save some space were we use these under the bed storage things for heels, special occasion, shoes, you don't need on a daily basis. So these will be slid under the bed which saved a lot of space. Another thing that we did was the file folding. So that saved a lot of space whenever you fold your shirts up. You can squeeze in more and fit more into and a space. And see what you're looking at versus like a lateral. Like stacking a vertical up. stacking. Yeah. Um, another space saving tip that we did was we used these big tote bags and put in all Jordan's like tiny purses or fanny packs, um, tote bags, anything like that. So instead of having like 50 bags hanging, we only have about seven. The other thing we were doing was we're gonna make her a bin with sentimental things so that it's not taking up prime real estate in yeah. her drawers right here. We're like gonna put old- Stuff that I want to not get rid of, but I don't <laughs> also need. And you don't wear really old sorority t-shirts, old music yeah, t-shirts, whatever, those kinds of things. So we're gonna get an extra little box for Jordan to put under her bed. That way she can keep it, but it's not taking up her space for her things that she actually wears. We have so many empty hangers, which means that I 
She got rid of a lot Did of stuff. Did some purging, but I still have a yes. lot of stuff, so I'll be lot mindful. Of stuff, but there was a lot of things that when we were deciding, um, one of the things she said was, oh, I bought it because it was on sale. That'll be your new <laughs> thing when you go shopping, to be mindful, to not just snatch up something because it's on sale. Yeah. And to really think about, do I have something like this in my closet already? Do I wear that thing that kind of looks like it? If not, that might be something you want to just pass up. Yeah, I had like 20 shirts that were black and white stripes. We narrowed it down to about five or six, <laughs> two, three, four, five, seven. Yeah, so just being mind a mindful shopper is, I think, the biggest tip um, when you're working with limited space. I can't have it all anyways, so right. it needs to either be sold again or donated to somebody. Everything that you buy is a, lot, a little lesson in it, so. Yeah. And you get to save money. Oh, yeah, right. so where can everyone hire you and oh, get your yes. services? So you can go to my website. It's www.socoorganizers.com. That's S-O-C-O organizers with an S dot com and um, you can email me through my website as well. Yeah, and you can listen to our podcast episode on Do What You Want Radio. I yes. forget what number it is, but I'll put it in the description of this video, but we have a whole one-hour conversation about Sarah's All business. things organizing, yes. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you.